Hi guys, um, I'm back. So um, I've been thinking all day about uh, what you guys might wanna hear first. So um, what I was thinking was if it was me, I'd wanna know how all this went down in the beginning. So we're gonna start all the way back at the beginning of this journey. Um, so in September of 2020, we had a Labor Day function, had some friends over. Uh, we were going from the backyard to the front yard uh, through the little gate by the pool. And you know, we had one of those little magna latch um, gate latches and the dogs were coming running and I went to go shut the gate. And when I did, I tried to stop them and I slammed it into my breast. Um, little did I know then that that was my God wink of, hey, you should get something checked out. So about a week goes by, I uh, hadn't got my mammogram. I only had one before this one um, and uh, it was COVID time. So, you know, nobody had their mammograms done, but I was not feeling great and just a little sore. So uh, I went and had a mammogram done and um, they called me back a couple hours after I got my mammogram and said, something just don't look right. So we went from there and had an ultrasound done. And then we were leaving for Disney on Friday because uh, that's what we do, right? And my my ultrasound was on a Wednesday and doctor comes in and is like, this ain't good. I'm very concerned. So no Disney, had a biopsy scheduled for Monday. Went in on that Monday. And uh, yeah, I knew, I knew right away. They went to go take a piece of um, the biopsy. I felt nothing, which probably wasn't a great sign. And then I heard the whispering in the background. It was the beginning of those wonderful things that happen around you around cancer and people just act awkward, um, which I hate, by the way, I hate. But that's another day's story. Um, anyway, but I knew it wasn't good. I just didn't know how bad it was. So September 28th, 2020, I got this phone call. It was cancer. Uh, triple negative breast cancer, which at that time I had no idea there was different kinds of breast cancer because I was kind of, I actually was very ignorant to this stuff. Um, so from there, uh, it was a very, very, very stressful month. Um, had to get some of those good gummies because, uh, yeah, probably one of the hardest times in my life besides my mother passing away. So, uh, anyway, I told you some of this is going to be raw. Uh, so anyway, we got a plan. I have some of the best doctors around. Um, we got a plan. Went on this medicine and then they fought for me to be put on Keytruda because at the time it was not open to breast cancer patients. I was one of the fun, first ones to get it. So that was very exciting, even though we had to fight for it and it delayed my treatment for a couple of weeks. Um, got my Contruda, that's a year long process. And then November 2nd, I think it was, we started chemo. Six, six months worth. The last day was gonna be on my birthday. So going through that, each treatment was great. Every time they'd measure, um, I had a four inch tumor um right where the gate hit um yeah if it wasn't for that gate i might not be here right now so definitely my little god wink um so anyway every week doctor would measure the little tumor shrink 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 uh march 29th of 2021 i had uh my last chemo so intravenous chemo and then um let's see i had a month off and then I had to get my double mastectomy. So I got a double mastectomy. They put, um, uh, what is it, expanders in. And uh, you have to wear those while you go through radiation because radiation and regular implants don't mix. Um, I did opt for regular implants than doing the flap. That's also another day of talking. Um, anyway, uh, Let's see, we went and had a mastectomy and then I started radiation in June. 
and then I had that for five weeks, every day for five weeks, not including the weekends, um, which I did very well. And, uh, and then I had to, let's see, because I, when I had surgery, my mastectomy, there was still a little tiny bit of cancer left. So because of that, they put me on Zolota, which is a chemo pill for six more months. So after radiation was done, um, I went on Zolota from August until January. So January of 2022. So everything was going great. Um, I could not get my real implants in until after I was off the Zolota. Um, so, and anybody who's had expanders or if you heard about them, they are rocks that go in your chest. I mean, literally felt like I had rocks in there. So I was very much looking forward to my squishy implants going in. Um, so in January, after I finished uh, Zolota and in February, I finished Keytruda. Um, I uh, took some blood numbers and I had a tumor marker that was kind of funky, still high, higher than I like. Doctor wasn't worried about it. I said, you made me see that crap in there at the beginning. I want to see a crap out of there now. So I made them do scans, which is not normal, but I'm pain in the booty and I'm kind of used to getting what I want. <laughs> so anyway, I begged and I got, um, little also did I know that this was going to be my path of also making it through this second time. Um, so we got a scan done and everything was clear except for these tiny, tiny little lymph nodes that were right there in the middle. Just wanted to watch them, make sure nothing was wrong. We all thought that maybe it was just a reaction to the foreign objects of the expanders in my chest. And uh, so, but they were so very, very tiny, you couldn't do anything with them. She said, you're cancer free, move on with your life. Okay, doc, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, but because of the watchers, three months later, we had to go do it again. So in June, I had more blood work done and I had um, for your tumor markers. And then I had um, another scan. That scan, blood work was perfect. Wonderful stuff, right? Uh, scan showed a few more of those little watcher things. So, oh, and I did miss in February, in, let's see, that was in June. In May, I'm sorry, I did have my regular implants put in. So, once again, we thought that maybe it was just the recent surgery from a month ago, and maybe it was just the implants um, reacting to the lymph nodes. So, we'll see you in three months. Have a great summer. Okay, Doc. And you know I had a great summer. I was everywhere, because these days I live my life three months at a time. So... Once again, here's Labor Day. We're having a great day at the beach. I have a scan the very next day after Labor Day, um, which is working up to it, nervous, nervous, nervous. And uh, yeah, so I had my scan and she calls me and is like, hmm. this time there wasn't just watchers. There was one extra little limp node dude and he was about a centimeter big. She's like, maybe we should get this taken out of there just to make sure it's something bad okay I'm still thinking it's got to be nothing because I've done it all I've done it all you know I've done I've paid my price right <sighs> wrong so I had surgery they gave me a wonderful little Frankenstein scar once again that's another story um, anyway uh, but that one little lymph node ended to be a 10 centimeter piece of wonderful cancer again really seriously so um anyway the good news is it was out they did a full body scan there was nothing anywhere else it had not spread blessed and thankful had to go through six more months of chemo so almost to the day two years after the first diagnosis i am doing this again and almost two years to the day i started chemo again so this time it went through April 12th. Um, in the meantime, there's a new blood test around called Signaterra. It has uh, tests for circulating tumor cells. If you know anyone who has been through cancer and had a tumor removed, I highly suggest them look into it. It is a wonderful new tool to help prevent cancer reoccurrence or to detect cancer reoccurrence, I guess is really the words to say. Um, and uh, message me if you have any questions, but I will go into that even later also. Um, 
So anyway, I had to get to a zero and uh, that, that number at the beginning of this whole deal of the second time was a 72 um, by April 12th, which would be a month ago tomorrow. I just realized I am a month out of chemo. Um, yeah, I'm at Signatera zero, which means there's no circulating tumor cells and a February 1st scan and a mid April scan of my entire body eyes to knees shows no cancer so yeah that's my story in a let's say a 10 minute bit sorry it took so long but you know two rounds of cancer takes a little bit of time to explaining um i'll go into some more details later but that's that's my story right now uh but i'm good i'm happy and uh i'm here so talk to you later bye